Thank you for purchasing my Unicorn Sword tutorial. Let's get started. You're going to need a Qualitex Chrome Gold 260, Qualitex White 260, Qualitex Chrome Mauve 260, and a five inch round. Some Sharpies, as well as a paint pen, and some stickers to decorate. First, we'll inflate the White 260. You're going to want to leave about 6 inches of tail and tie it off. Give it a little squeeze. We're going to make three rather large pinch twists. These are going to be about 2 inch pinch twists. We're going to make three of these. These pinch twists are going to sit at the back of the handle of the sword. Next, we're going to make two loop twists. Now these two loop twists are going to be about three inches long, and these are going to serve as the ears of the unicorn. So we're just going to arrange it now so that the pinch twists are in the back and the two loop twists, or the ears, are in the front. We're going to make a handle by making a large bubble. This bubble is going to be 5 inches long. We're going to finish off the white 260 by adding one pinch twist at the bottom. And then we're going to just put this balloon aside. I'm going to grab the mauve 260 and we're going to inflate this one. And tie it off. We don't need too much of this. We're going to leave about 8 inches of tail. Give it a little squeeze. And grab our handle that we've already prepared. I'm just going to tie the nozzle around that pinch twist to secure and then add two small pinch twists in the chrome mauve. This is going to really secure the two balloons together. I'm now done with the 260 in the white and I'm going to snip the tail off and tie it into the nozzle end of the chrome mauve. I'm going to snip off the excess and discard. Turn that white pinch twist so it's vertical and add a little loop with the chrome mauve. So this is what we're looking at now for the bottom of the handle. We have three pitch twists and a little loop. I'm going to give a little squeeze to that chrome mauve and add a series of bubbles. I want to add five bubbles going along the back of the handle of the sword. I'm just holding on to that first bubble so that they don't all give. And now I'm pushing it down against the table so that it's secure and it's not going to let go on me. So once I have my five bubbles, they're going to end up being about eight inches in length. And I'm going to wrap that around those clusters of white 260 pinch twists that we prepared earlier. And that's all we need from the chrome mauve, so I'm going to snip that off and wrap it around to secure.
just snip off that tip. We're not going to need that anymore. And this is what we have so far. The handle of our unicorn sword. Three pinch twists, two loops for the ears, a series of bubbles, a handle, three pinch twists at the bottom, and a small loop. Let's grab our 260 now in the chrome gold. Inflate and tie to secure. We don't need too much of the chrome gold 260. We're going to leave about six inches of tail. Give it a squeeze and fold in half to find the middle. We're going to take one side in either hand and push to the left with our thumbs while wrapping to the right with our hands. This is going to secure the coil and make sure it doesn't let go. This might take some practice to get the coil tight. I'm going to grab the nozzle, wrap it around what's left of that 260 and tie it off. We now have a unicorn horn. I'm going to snip off the end and tie one more time to secure. Grab our handle that we've already prepared. We're now going to grab our horn and pull it through the center of the ears and wrap around the cluster of three white pinch twists in the back. We want a tight connection here, so I'm going to wrap the horn around the ears. Grab the scraps of gold 260 in the back and snip off. I'm going to turn this pinch twist in the back horizontal just to let everything sit nicely. We're going to inflate our five inch white round. Over inflate a little bit and then let some air out to soften. This balloon is going to be four inches. Tie to secure. We're going to pull the nozzle of the five inch round through the two loops of the ears and around the back of the pinch twists. Lay the ears flat on top of the right round. and take the two pinch twists on either side of the ears and make them diagonal. This is just gonna let everything sit nicely. Those two pinch twists should be diagonal under the ears. We now have a unicorn sword. We are missing one thing, a little bit of artwork. I'm going to grab my Pilot Permanent Marker in black. You can also use a Sharpie black marker. It works just as well. I'm going to make an oval with my marker, just going around a couple times until I like the shape. I like to make the eyes quite large. I'm going to fill this in once I like the shape of my oval. For the lash, I'm just going to draw a line out of the top right of the oval. Round the top and then blend it into the eye. Make sure to do the same on the other side. I'm now using my Edding White Paint Pen 751. I'm going to make two little circles in the white just to give a little sparkle to the eye.
finally, I'm just going to use a sticker and put it on the unicorn's little cheek. Perfect. And that is our completed unicorn sword. Thank you so much for watching my tutorial.